Hi, I'm Susan Reed from King Arthur Flower, and today we're going to do some serious cookie decorating. But first, I'd like to show you some of the things that you might want to have around to have all the tools you need to decorate your cookies. Obviously, if you're going to make Christmas cookies, the first thing you need to do is bake off some Christmas cookies. So we have lots of different shapes here. You can use whatever cutters that you like. This can be done in advance, and you can keep them in an airtight container for up to a week so that you don't have to do everything in one day. Then you need frosting. So I've used a simple hard cookie glaze and once I made the glaze I poured it into these little containers that have lids so I have all of my colors ready to go. I have some thick frosting and some that is thin so that I have two different textures to work with. And I have some royal icing which I have put into a pastry bag. If you have trouble putting things in pastry bags, one tip that I can give you is take something tall and narrow that's heavy, like a beer mug, and you can put your pastry bag in it, fold the edges over the top, and that way you can just put your frosting in and you have both your hands free. This is in a pastry bag here, and what I'm going to do is fold over the back and use one of my favorite weapons here. This is an alligator clip, or you can use a twist tie. And if you close the back of the pastry bag, that way when you squeeze it, the frosting won't back up over your hands. This is especially nice to do if you're going to be working with kids who absolutely love to decorate cookies. This will keep everything much cleaner. This is another pastry bag that I haven't cut the tip off of that I'm using as a sleeve so that this does not dry out. So I'm going to put this pastry bag inside this and stand it up in my nice heavy tall container. So it's ready for me to use whenever I need it, and I don't have to worry about it drying out. This may look a little bit like an operating table, but it's not all that intimidating. All I have here are some inexpensive paint brushes, which you can use to spread the frosting to do any touch-up work. This is a modeling pair of tweezers. This is another modeling tool that I like because it's got a nice little narrow spoon, which is very handy. I have several offset spatulas. This is for spreading frosting. This is for making sure that I've got into all the little nooks and crannies. And this is for moving the cookie around after it's frosted. Now you can use any kind of spatula. I just happen to have this one. These are food safe markers. If you have kids around and you just want to let them color, make their own masterpieces, you can glaze a cookie and then once the glaze hardens, they can write on their cookies. Colored sugars that are nice for sprinkling into the frosting. Demitasse spoons, which are really kind of handy for sprinkling sugar. And this is an inexpensive watercolor palette, which is really handy for holding all of the decorations that you might want to use. And this is why I have the tweezers, so that I can put this little decoration where I want it. Toothpicks, we're going to use those for mixing two colors of frosting together on the surface of a cookie. Cotton swabs, which are very handy for cleaning up mistakes. More decorations. This is a little craft shop bead container that's kind of handy for keeping things all together. This is just a little paring knife. I find that it comes in very handy. Water to rinse out your brushes. And once you've got your cookies painted, it's a good idea to put them on a rack over a piece of parchment paper because any frosting that drips through will land on the parchment paper and it makes cleanup much easier. So you don't need all of this to decorate cookies, but any bit or piece of it that makes sense to you that you want to play with, these are some of the things that you could use.